if asked, what would you say all of these books have in common? It's all popular young adult literature? It is indeed, but to some people, these books are a lot more. This type of person is called a fangirl. Okay. Exhibit A. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this book since January of 2014. I don't know what to do because like it's like the concept is so cool with the four different seasons. I don't know what to do because like the characters and the romance and dynamic and just like the cliffhanger at the end. I don't know what to do because I have to wait on an entire year for the next book. Wow, um people like that are out there? Yes, indeed, they are quite a strange breed. Exhibit B. The feels, the feels! She's weird. They have even integrated themselves into our society. OMG, the feels. I cannot even deal. Fangirl, do you know why all these books are so good? An author's genius. Wrong. What? These books would be nothing if it weren't for their content editors. A content what? A content editor. The person who determines whether or not a book is accepted for publication. They work closely with the author throughout the whole process, from questioning the sequence of events to character development to believability. So my favorite book of all time that ripped my heart to shreds would never have been published without a content editor? To put it simply, yes. I hope this was enjoyable for you to watch. I made this little video for a presentation I did on a career I researched, and that career was, of course, content editing. The assignment was to research the ins and outs of a career we would potentially want in the future, as well as what we could do in high school to get into the desired college, and what we would expect major in in college to get to a point with that career. I've said this before on my channel, and it still reigns true, that I want to be a professional author when I grow up, but I wanted to choose a career for the research project, at least, that involved a college degree. I got a lot of questions throughout the process, of me tweeting and complaining about it from other people that wanted to know what kind of major you would want, what kind of college is most desirable, as well as just what uh, the career of content editing involves because I didn't know before going into this project either. One of the requirements for this project was to have at least one interview with someone in the field that you were researching. I actually got the amazing chance to interview both Jennifer A. Nielsen as well as Sarah Roche for this. And my main purpose for making this video in the first place was just to tell you that I have both interviews in a blog post as well as the research paper itself because I just want to share my knowledge of what I've learned throughout the whole process. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I know this is a really short video, nothing like Sophia's normal ramblings, but it was just an FYI to go check out the blog post because you might want to know about content editing and another potential career you could have in the publishing field itself. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun time watching me embarrass myself on the internet. Keep calm and read on. Goodbye.